Okay, Genesis chapter 12. The Lord told Abram to go. He told him he'd make him famous, bless those who blessed him, and curse those who cursed him. And all the families of the earth shall bless themselves by Abe. Abram thought that sounded pretty good, so he went, taking Lot with him, and Abe's wife, and his brother's son Lot. And with Abe they went, and it came to pass that they did go, and they took all their money, and some people as well, and they went. They went to the land of Canaan. That's where the Canaanites were. Strangely enough, had they gone to Mexico, the Mexicans would likely be there. At least if the Christian Spanish hadn't got there before Abe and killed them all. The Lord told him he could have the land. The Lord didn't ask the Canaanites what they thought. The Lord was pretty funny that way. He often cared little about most people. He had just a few favorites. Abe liked that idea and built the Lord an altar. He went to one place and another with his tent and the Lord and ended up in Negeb, wherever that is. Somewhere near all the other places there, they always went by foot so they couldn't go far. There was famine, so Abraham went to Egypt with his wife, but since she was beautiful, she said she was his sister, so the Egyptians wouldn't kill him. Apparently, that was common practice to kill people with beautiful wives and not people with beautiful sisters. In fact, they might be really nice to you and not even kill you. When they got there, the Egyptians saw how beautiful Sari was and told the pharaoh, and he took her and had wild, passionate sex and gave Abraham sheep, oxen, asses, male and female slaves, she-asses, and camels. Pretty good deal for a sister, or a wife. But the Lord took offense and sent horrendous plagues, and the pharaoh asked Abram why he played such a dirty trick on him. He gave the wife back, a little used, but still looking fine, and Abram could see, still keep his presence, but he had to get lost and fast.